Joining me now is Senator Robert Menendez of New Jersey. Senator Menendez is a member of the Senate Committee on Foreign Relations. Senator, good to have you with us tonight. I know you've worked awful hard on this over the years, trying to bring uh, closure for all of the families in the wake of this tragic bombing, which has haunted the United States for years. What are you hearing today from victims, from, fam from victims' families? Well, I think overwhelmingly, Ed, uh, there is a, a sense of a measure of justice here. Uh, we have always thought uh, that uh, Gaddafi was the one who ordered uh, the bombing of Pan Am 103, where 270 lives were lost, including uh, 34 from my home state of New Jersey. Uh, and the reality is, is that we always knew that Al Megrahi was the convicted bomber, could not have acted alone. And it's obvious that Al Megrahi was so important to Gaddafi that he used all of his leverage. Uh, on an oil deal to get him back into Libya. Uh, so this is a measure of justice, but uh, I still want to close a very final chapter and make sure that the Transitional National Committee, that is the interim government, continues to give us access to all those others in the regime yeah. to make sure that everybody comes to justice. Well, you authored the Pan Am Accountability Act, which requires a new Libyan government to cooperate in the Lockerbie investigation. What's going to be the next step there? Well, certainly, we have about, I think, anywhere between 30 and $36 billion of frozen assets uh, of Libyans in the United States. And while we have been supportive of giving some of that money for humanitarian purposes, uh, it seems to me, as I have said to Secretary uh, of State Hillary Clinton, that we need to make sure that the Transitional National Committee is cooperating with us, both in access to Al Megrahi, who is in Libya, uh, and to others uh, in the Gaddafi regime who may have been part of uh, his government uh, and who may have been part of this whole process of determining uh, the execution of Pan Am 103. And so uh, I think if we get that type of response, of course, then we can have those assets flow fully uh, to Libya. If we don't get that type of response, we should use it as a leverage point. I want to play uh, some more from uh, Bert Ammerman and hear what he had to say about the death and what it means of the death of uh, Gaddafi. I've been saying for 20 years, if you want to eliminate state-sponsored terrorism, you go after the leaders like Gaddafi, like Hussein, like the leader in Iran right now. If they know that we're going to deal with that, uh, this will stop. Uh, I applaud the Obama administration. Uh, he's developed a blueprint for the future. Technology, intelligence, allies. Senator, is he correct about a new blueprint for the future? Well, look, the Obama administration here uh, led uh, as the sponsor of the no-fly zone resolution in the Senate that then led uh, to the effort at the United Nations and NATO's engage engagement. You have to give credit to President Obama uh, for leading an international effort here that ultimately eight months later uh, brought the end of a 42-year dictatorship. And if you add that to the uh, capture and killing of bin Laden and al Awahi, the reality is, is that this is the one administration that has actually brought those terrorists to justice. What about uh, the concern that is out there dealing with loose arms falling into the wrong hands, shoulder fired missiles, some chemical weapons? Where do you stand? Where do we stand on that? How, how much of a concern is it? Well, it's a concern, particularly uh, with the sh uh, shoulder-fired missiles. Uh, the uh, Transitional National Committee didn't do a particularly good job, as, and understandably, they were in the midst of a uh, struggle to oust uh, Gaddafi, but they didn't secure those sites, at least not all of them. And so that is a concern for us, and it's something that we're going to have to work with them to track down uh, and to make sure that the rest of those sites are secure now. Senator, have we become so political in this country that Republicans can't give the Obama administration any credit whatsoever? Uh, it, they seem to stop at the—we used to stop as a country at the water's edge when it came to international affairs like this. But uh, the, the remarks that are coming from the, your colleagues over on the other side of the aisle uh, are almost gut-wrenching. Your thoughts on that? You know, it's a, it's a shame. Uh, this is a moment in which America should rejoice uh, in the sense uh, that a terrorist uh, was brought to justice, uh, someone who killed uh, Americans, someone who promoted terrorism. Uh, you know, the, the fact of the matter is, is I guess that uh, when your mission uh, in the Congress of the United States is to make Barack Obama a one-term president, you can't even see credit to him when uh, he has acted in such a way that has helped the nation be more secure. 
uh, you know, bin Laden, al-Awahi, uh, now uh, Gaddafi. Uh, that's one impressive record for one president. Senator Robert Menendez, New Jersey, good to have you with us tonight. Thanks so good much. Good to be with you, Ed.